It says I'm live. Hi, everybody. This is June from Oakland Witch Lane Designs. I got to look up at my camera because otherwise I'm looking right here, which is where my screen is. And it looks funny like I'm not looking at my camera. We have some people in the house. Let me pop up chat first. Okay. Hi, Krista. How you doing? Martha, hi, hun. I got I to gotta talk to you, but I just want to say hello to Shirley. Hi, Shirley. How you doing? Martha, I don't think, let me talk into the camera. I don't think I got to tell you that that star that you dot painted was phenomenal. Phenomenal? Phenomenon. Phenomenal. Whatever. However you say that word. It was fabulous. Let me just put it that way. And now I see that you have, uh, you can take pictures. So I was hoping that you would start taking pictures of that and put that in your, um, it's all in the details, your Facebook page, because lady, that was really, really beautiful. And uh, you never know, you know, uh, you could get sales that way. I don't know if you want sales, but that was a gorgeous thing that you made. I really loved it. So how is everybody? We have so far just Krista, Shirley, and Martha, which is good, but I just didn't want to just didn't want to start just hanging out. Um, we'll talk for a little bit, and then I'll get to to do some crafting just to let some people come in. Uh, we've had snow yesterday; it snowed all day long. Uh, thank goodness there really wasn't that much of an accumulation. I would say about. Well, there was two inches, and then there was a, an ice layer. We felt, uh, my daughter and I felt like we were archaeologists. I think I said that word right, archaeologists, yes. Because we had snow, then the ice layer, and then the snow layer on top. It was really fun taking it off our car, our cars, because when you made like a chop in it, you could see the different layers of how the weather was going. But it was really, hey, Mary, welcome, honey. And let's see, you know what, Barbara, I'm seeing, Barbara, hi, sweetie. Um, I think right now that my StreamYard chat is faster than my, than my YouTube chat. Hey, Joanne, how you doing? Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so we were chopping it like not chopping it but while we were trying to shovel it we could see all the different layers and it just wouldn't stop snowing i thought we were going into the ice age and i was getting like okay do we have food for the ice age and the roads were looking really bad and of course my son has to be driving in it you know just just to make me feel less anxious but hey mike how <laughs> you made it are you still playing <laughs> baseball yes i know it's mike <laughs> how you doing mike um so yeah i'm really glad that it stopped snowing we saw the sun today i was like all of a sudden i looked up because i'm sitting here i've been working all day at this at this spot uh because of this week that i've had off between well suffering from snow anxiety and we'll talk about that later I really didn't do much. I binge watched a Amazon Prime series called The Expanse. It's a science fiction um, show, and I was fascinated by it. So for like, there was five seasons. So for three or four days, I was totally engrossed. It was like, okay, nobody call me because I'm busy, you know. Um, and then we had snow and, and all sorts of other stuff. But it was nice to get away in my own head for a couple of days. So, yes, I'm just making sure that I said hello to everybody, and then I'm going to flip my camera down. Let's see, let me get so I can start instead of just chatting here, and it's Cam Mike, and let's go here. Excellent. Okay, so... um. Oh, I just didn't want to do a little shout out. I was working on a snowman. I have gotten a custom order. So this isn't done. But Antonio, if you want here, I'll do it this way so we can see it. Antonio, I'm working on it. I know I promised you this week. It's almost done. It just needs a few finishing touches. But here you go, Antonio. 
Just got to work on it a little bit. So, all right. Let's talk about this egg situation. So, I got a dollar store egg. And this was last year. I haven't been to the dollar store this year yet. And I don't know if they're still selling them. But you would get this top. And then you get the, the different color liner. And the different color liner has got a flat bottom. So, I figured I would use this. Now, this piece is very shiny. Very shiny because um hold on a second oh okay this piece is very shiny because i have this weathered wood on stuff on it and i'm going to hold it this way i wanted to do a lot of the preliminary work on this um because i don't think anybody really wants to watch this paint dry uh what i did was i took the bottom part of the egg and uh, I didn't cut it at first because I wasn't sure if I was going to cut it. But since it's plastic and I do have spray paint that goes on plastic, um, I just didn't, I only have black or white. And I really just didn't, you know, I didn't want it to scratch or come off or anything else like that. So I, do you call it, well, I, I paper mache it basically with some tissue paper and some Mod Podge. And I did it all on the back. Um, then I got this pillar. Hold on. It's one of these. From Michael's. Now, all the links are in the bottom. I really tried to prepare myself for this. All the links uh, are on the bottom of, the, of uh, the YouTube video. So you can look at it afterwards. But this one, if you see the link, this is the cheap one that I used here. And the reason why I'm saying it's cheap was because this, uh, the pillar is, is not sanded flat or smooth. You can see it on this one. I think you can. Um, here's like, there's not the same edge all around. It's not level, in other words. The second link to a wooden uh, pillar is more expensive than this. I think this was about six bucks. Uh, but the other one, I, I don't know. It's, it might have a smaller circumference here. I'm not quite sure. But it was, uh, it's, and it's also six inches. This one is only one, two, three, only four inches high. Yeah, the, one, the other link is a six inch high one. Um, okay, so I wanted to put this on a little bit of a platform. I couldn't find anything at Michael's. Uh, the wood, the Michael's that's by me, it's almost looking like it's going out of sale. There's a Hobby Lobby right next to it. And in certain supplies, it really doesn't have a lot of things. And at first we were all just thinking it was the paints because I know that the paint department is uh, very bare, but there's a lot of things that aren't there like if you wanted wooden uh, little things to build stuff on you really can't find them so i couldn't find anything so i just used the cap to uh, a jar the plastic jar and i uh i also paper mache that with the um tissue paper and the mod podge and i did the same to the base because i don't mind if it has texture so I did all of that. Then I realized that this was a different color than this. And since I am going to be crackling this, I wanted the same color to come through. It doesn't have to be exactly the little tonal differences is fine. That's not going to bother me. You're probably not going to see it. So I painted the whole thing with burnt sienna and raw umber. Love that combination. This had more raw sienna in it because I thought that would be pretty coming through because I'm going to be painting like an off-white color on top. And then what I'm going to be doing is uh, probably spraying it with the fixative that I have, which is not the same as like a gloss or a satin. Um, but see, you know what? I was trying to have everything here. And as usual, I forgot one thing. Hold on one second, guys. It, it really wouldn't be my show if I had everything right at my desk. So, oh, is Tracy here? Hey, Tracy, how you doing? Welcome. Come on in. 
Uh, I'm going to spray it with this Duncan. Once I put the, the white coat and it dries, I'm going to sp uh, spray it with Duncan Super Matte. It's a ceramic sealer. Uh, I like this stuff because I don't want to gloss to it. Hey, Patty. Patty, you're here. Hi, sweetie. Wow. Teresa can't make it because she has company, but Mike's here somewhere up there. Um, this super matte ceramic sealer is very good because uh, once you seal it, then you can put more paint on top of it. So now I gave you uh, this. This is, and I, I don't have one of these that I didn't use, but it's a full oval frame. I'm just pulling out this. I'm sorry. It's my Raven picture, but it's a full oval frame that you can get at Michael's. The link is in the bottom uh, of where you can pick these up. I try to give you all the links. You'll notice that one link is super, super long, but that's the only way I could get it. And I don't even understand why. I think it's create for less or craft for less, but that's the one with the, um, uh, the nest, but I'll get to that. So I got one of, I had one of these frames and I had snipped off this piece for my clock, my last mantle clock that I made. So I had this piece left over and I'm like, well, what am I going to do with this? So I thought it would be a good idea. It seemed to fit around the egg. And uh, <clears throat> so I glued it around the egg. And now I'm going to put, I'm going to work on this. That's something we're going to do tonight. I'm going to put the little nest in here. Hey, Telly, Telly's here. Hi, Telly. And I'm going to work on, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to do for the nest. Okay. All right. Now I tried to, this nest I got, I had ordered like five ravens for Halloween. Uh, one year I was a scarecrow and I had ravens on top of me, uh, you know, sort of glued on my arms or on my shoulder. And this nest came with one of the ravens and I'm not ever going to use it for anything. So I was trying to figure out what to do. And I figured, oh, that fits right in there pretty good. I don't, the end, re, the end result is I don't know if I'm going to put a chicken here. I don't know what design I'm going to put. But first of all, I got to get the whole thing done. And then we can figure out what kind of a creature I'm putting in here. Um, so I use this nest and I have some, this is armature wire that I cut and I messed up and I hate throwing this stuff out because it's sort of expensive, but it just feels like such a waste to me. So I interwove it through the nest um, and then I primed it with white spray paint because I'm going to be adding some more stuff. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? Hi, hon. Glad you're here. I'm going to get Telly, you're okay, right? You have heat and all that good stuff? I hope so. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is putting like a um, coat of, let's see, joint compound, and I'm going to add some matte medium, but we'll get to, when we get to that, we'll explain that, what I'm going to be doing. Okay. Now, the only thing else that I didn't tell you about was this paper right here. I believe I got it from Nikki's store, her Etsy store, Disorganized Crafters. It's Stamperia. It's a rice paper. And I couldn't find, Nikki's store wasn't open just yet. I, I don't know when she's going to be opening. I So I couldn't find if she still has this. But if you go on, if she doesn't open soon, if you go online and just type in Stamperio Rice Paper Roses, you'll get a whole uh, bunch of different um, rice papers that have roses on it if you like this. But you ladies are paper crafters and you would probably have more rice paper or napkins or whatever else you use. The only thing different that I did was I know that when you put Mod Podge on something, it gets a little bit transparent. So I did take this folk art acrylic paint. I don't know what color it is. Does it even tell us the colors? Well, it's this color. 
whatever color this is, this is the folk art acrylic paint that I that I had. And I put a coat of that on there and then I mod podge this on because if I didn't, there would be too much brown. I hope she's doing okay too. Oh, you have that paper. You got that paper? Oh, good. So a lot of people have this paper. And Telly said that they're doing great. Good. I'm glad, Telly. Oh, Telly thinks she has that paper. Okay, a lot of people think they have the paper. Did I miss anybody? I hope I didn't miss anybody. I'm going with the um, the the StreamYard chat because it seemed to be faster than my YouTube chat. Okay, so after this whole thing was constructed, um, I used this soft gel to uh, help make sure that the glue stayed here on this. And I have to tell you, uh, I'm at the end of this, and it's transparent, but even, even that, it dried a little bit cloudy. And then uh, I wasn't... I've been using it for other things, and I noticed that if you put on anything but, you know, any kind of thickness, it does dry a little cloudy. It's not as transparent, but I did get another one, and again, okay, it's only the second time, guys. I have to get up and get something. Only twice. Where did it go? Ah. This one, the heavy body gel, this one which is what I wanted to begin with. This one I use for around the base. And uh, this dries as clear as anything. Very, very clear. Shiny and clear. This one is sort of shiny. I would call it more of a satin type look. Uh, but it's not transparent. This one's like glass. This is what I found. I mean, you probably know a lot more about these products than I do. Um, but this one I got delivered to me. I, I don't even remember where I got it. But I wasn't sure if the cold affected it because it seemed, um, it seemed like it was a little funny in its texture. But you know what? It still works. So whatever the texture is, we can live with it. Okay. So now, and then I took, wait, 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 I took my weathered wood, wood from DecoArt, and I put a layer over everything but in there. That's why it's shiny. I didn't realize why it would be so shiny, but that's why it's shiny. So I feel we're going to get going pretty soon. All righty. Now, this is all for the... When I get to this, sticky. Okay, this is a um, a dry uh, a Tide cup. Whenever I finish using the Tide, and you buy another one from the big ones, I always save the cups because you know what? They're good to they're good to mix paint in. Now I want this color, but I also want it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to try to drill thick, guys, as you can say, see. Come on, bud. There we go. I want to make sure I have enough. And then I'm just going to add a little white to it. Just wanted a little bit lighter. This is gesso. Isn't it fun? Yeah. Okay, that's going to be lighter. All right. Now I tried different techniques on putting the only thing I had was a matchbook I was lighting candles and I was trying different techniques because this is the normal technique 
of uh, when you just put it on one way. But I really didn't want that look. I didn't want it to look, I wanted crackle. I didn't want it to um, make it look like wood. Then I tried cross hatching and that wasn't doing very much. I mean, it was crackling, but it wasn't doing what I wanted. And then I tried this way and that's the way I want it. I tried pouncing. So that's what we're going to do on this entire project. Hopefully, I will be pouncing the piece and not me. She's been pretty sick, Telly. I'm sorry about that. I know because... Um, Yeah, okay. Uh, I know that something was going on because she gave us the first video for her bag that she's making with that leather paper. And then she never gave us the second video. So I was thinking that something happened. I hope that she's okay. What's happening? I hope that she's okay. Um, and I'm glad that she's taking a break. We could all use a break. I know that, I don't know, ever since uh, the holidays, Christmas, it's been very hard getting motivated. And I have so many things that I wanted to do that, you know, the, the ideas are popping in the head. But, I, you know, there's always a part of a project you just don't feel like doing. And so it was stopping me from doing it. And um, finally, I just said, I, you know, today, yesterday, and today, after my three day of binge watching, I just said, you know what, you're just going to sit there and you're going to do things. And just take it one step at a time and it'll get done. Okay. Now, Joanne told me about the weathered wood product, and I'm really liking it. So I'm just going to tap it on. I painted this. I painted the weathered wood on about an hour ago. No, about an hour and a half ago because I wanted it to dry. And even if it doesn't, you know crackle that much it's adding texture which I like just as much it's not that I wanted the crackle like a normal crackle anyway Well, Telly, I, I know I can't complain because uh, the snow hits you pretty hard, but um, I finally realized that I don't have a phobia of snow. I'm not afraid of the stuff. I mean, I go out and shovel it all the time. Um, but I do have anxiety about the snow. I just don't like, I don't like driving in it. Uh, and every, when I was a little girl, I would, I used to love snow. Of course you did when you're a little kid. And, uh, we lived in an apartment building and they had those big radiators in the lobby. So we would go out and we would play in the snow. And then when we got too wet, we would come in, in the lobby and take off our, our gloves and our hat and our scarf. And we would put them on the radiators. So the smell of steam drying woolen, but not even wool knit items uh, is something I remember that. But I always used to get sick when there was a snowstorm. And now I just, I don't like traveling in snow and I don't like knowing that my kids are traveling in snow either. where I would get very, very anxious. Well, 
first of all, I started, my legs started to hurt, this started to hurt, that started, you know, my back was aching, this, that, and the other thing. And, um, and then I would start feeling like a little under the weather. Um, and like any other year that you feel a little under the weather, you're like, okay, that's okay. But this, you know, with COVID and because I do work in a school, you're always worried that, okay, here we go. And, uh, but it was the snow coming. I don't know if it's the pressure. What? I really don't know. But, uh, it, I didn't feel good. And then the snow would come and then you got to shovel the stuff. And, um, And you try to get out and then you got to drive in the stuff. And then it's always a mess because you got boots on. And my front door, the minute you open my front door, you're right in a, a little very, like, I don't even know if you would call it a hall because right to the right is my dining room table. So it's not like I have a mud room where I can take off everything and leave every, you know. So I don't have a big house. I, I It's big enough to try to keep clean, but. Okay, I'm seeing crackle. I'm seeing it come in. But I, I know that Texas got hit really bad. That's probably because you don't usually get a lot of snow. Oh, Tully's giving us an inventory of everybody who's here. <laughs> so has anybody been doing anything fun? Mary, have you gotten out of the, the your slump? Are you starting to do some things? I shouldn't call it a slump. What do you want to call it? Sort of like a... Uh, you just don't feel like doing anything. You're not motivated. A slump is a baseball term. Oh, thank you, Shirley. I know I've been getting some thumbs down recently. I thought that was fascinating. On some of my videos. I was like, oh, that's cool. See, the thing with the uh, thumbs down, I don't really care. Like, it's not, I'm not, my heart isn't hurt or anything else like that. But I always wondered, like, obviously, if you thumbs up, you liked it. I mean, I always, whenever I go and watch a video, that's the first thing I do. If I'm going to watch the video for longer than a minute, I thumbs up. If I don't feel that I'm interested, I just move on to the next one. Um... But I always wondered what it was that they didn't like. You know? If you're going to thumbs down, I always wish they would tell you the reason. Because it could be a valid reason why they don't like it. Or it could just be an idiot. I'm not sure. One or the other. But if there's a valid reason, I would like to hear it. Oh, we are crackling up a storm. Isn't I know this is probably going to get very boring for you guys to watch me dab paint this whole thing. But I think that this is something that a lot of crafters can do. I mean, this, this really isn't hard. The only tools that I have that... I sat at my desk and looked at my new supplies and I was going to stop, but I came back out of my craft room and <laughs> sat down and started watching you. Oh, I'd love to hear about your new supplies. Which ones did you get? And I don't have a heater. And if I leave my door, my cats come in and start. Yeah. Yeah. Tully says she can't get motivated. Um, Sometimes I go through that and I've been going through that. I did that after the, you know, when I was on such a good roll last year, 
I was on such a good roll. I'm coming to Joanne's statement in a second. I was on, you know, like I was, I got so many things done last year. I was trying to count them and I was so happy. I was like, a, um, okay, I'm not, I don't want to minimize, but, you know, not being able to go anywhere, really, uh, I got a lot of stuff done. And that was really very good for me. And Joanne, yep, some people, where'd you go? Yep, some people are hateful and spiteful. And that's okay. You know why? Because what goes around comes around. I was on a good, good roll in 2019 and then I slacked off. Yeah, you know, Mary, I think that's right. Because the last thing that I really saw you made was that beautiful egg with the zipper on it. And then I hadn't really seen, maybe you made something else, but I know that that impressed me an awful lot and I really liked it. And I haven't seen you do anything else. And I was wondering what happened. I know that I see your posts. Now, this, this whole egg thing started. I know I saw your post in 2019, but I know that Joanne sort of got me motivated to do this one because she was talking about an egg that she was doing. You haven't really done anything. Oh, sometimes I organize my supplies and get motivated. That's true. That's true. That's a good way to get motivated is to organize your supplies. I like, you know, I get motivated when I get to toss things out. If something's been around for too long and I can't figure out something to do with it, I love just tossing it. Um, and then, of course, like a month later, I figured out what I could use it for. But then I really don't care. It's just like think of something else. I found 2020 was depressing as far as the state of the world was, Telly, and the fear and the, at the beginning, the food shortages. But as far as being creative, it was because, okay, it's cold down here too. It is a little cold down here, uh, even though um, we do have a lot of radiator, but it's, it's cold because this is the one room that we never did the windows in. We did the windows in the laundry room, which is over there. And the bathroom, which is oh, oops, over there, doesn't have a window in it, but that's right, right over there is the door. And then over here is the bathroom. I'm trying to make sure that you can see. And then over here on this side is the stairs. And in this room, right behind my uh, computer, there's a wall and everything. There's the laundry room. So we changed the window in that room, but we never changed the windows by my desk, which is like, this is my computer desk. I work here more because I watch videos now. And also it's cold over there because there's a lot of air seeping in there. Oh, you got some things from Timmy? Where's Crystal? We haven't seen Crystal in such a long time to make a steampunk heart that he demoed. I didn't see it. I did see, not the steampunk, but I did watch uh, Laurel and she was doing something, her last video, she was doing something really fabulous with alcohol inks on a, what do you call that? When you have a flap to uh, embossing, embossing folder. Oof, okay. See, you can tell I don't do a lot of that either. But she was doing some fascinating stuff with that. And she would put the alcohol ink on the embossing folder. And then she'd, I got the aluminum and the pitch black. Oh, pitch black alcohol ink. Oh, nice. Steel wool you can find in um, hardware stores, right? They usually sell it. Oh, you got Lysol down there? Oh, that, that sounded so New York. Let's say that again. Wait, let me get my co my coffee my coffee. Hold on. Okay. Telly, you got light well, 
toilet paper. Now, now we have plenty of toilet paper and Lysol, but no milk, orange juice, or meats. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Telly. I know Texas got pretty murdered there. Patty, that blanket, you that red, um, I don't know how to say it, it's Madalise. I'm not saying it right. I know I'm not. I love it. It's on my uh, sofa in the living room so that when we go up there and you want to read a book with the lamps because you love to lay down on the sofa. That's my most comfortable. So oh, good night, Krista. Oh, okay. Good night, sweetie. And you, Yeah, I... It was nice that you came in, and I hope you keep watching. All I'm doing is pouncing right now. I didn't realize I should have pounced half of it. So you would, you know, it, watching paint. But we can chat while I'm I'm doing this nonsense. And I've been practicing shading with their blenders and the hello plate. Mary, I have no idea of what you just said to me. I didn't know what a Lavinia stamp is. Sorry. Is Cindy here? Oh, I did say hi to Cindy. Is there a Cindy? It's Cynthia. Is Cindy Cynthia? Yes, I hope. And if Cindy isn't Cynthia, then hi, Cindy. Come on in. I'm just pouncing paint here. Oh, all right, you have meat then. It's a jelly plate. Okay, that I know. I know what a jelly plate is. You know, it's it's really fun, like, learning all these different things, like, um, on YouTube videos recently when I wasn't watching The Expanse. They're like fairy stamps. Oh, how cool is that? You know, Alpha Stamps has, um, and I'm sure a lot of other places, but they have, not that this is the same thing, but they have, I think they're the ones who have the car, uh, cardboard fairies. They're real, they're real pretty. Cardboard, chipboard, not cardboard, it's chipboard fairies. So I was been watching, you know, all sorts of different YouTube videos. I've been watching people paint miniatures for Dungeons and Dragons things. And, um, you know, I think Martha talked about it too. Uh, Black Magic Craft, he's, he's great. And there's another one, Tabletop Witchcraft is good. I don't know why they were all talking about witches because they're all guys, but whatever. Um, or Black Magic Crafts. But be, it, they're... They, you know, they make their little scenery for their Dungeon and Dragon games. And we learn a lot about that. But then I was watching this guy because I always was fascinated by someone who can carve. I can't, I cannot imagine like how they think of to carve. Lavinia stamps are gorgeous. I'm going to have to look that up because I don't know what they are. I mean, I know that Mary said that they're fairy stamps, but I I will. Oh, sorry. I'm not in frame. You know what? I'm going to try to get around the edges later because you don't need to watch me get around the edges. I just want to smooth out a few that I started that have some paint on it. Hopefully I am in frame because I have to get inside all of that. Okay. And I might just stop after I paint the base. I saw the flamingo distress. I saw them. I don't know how I saw them. Well, it must have been on, on Facebook. Oh, I'm going to add, by the way, I'm going to add something here. But in the meantime, I'm just going to, because I'm not sure what I'm adding here. In the meantime, I'm just going to crackle the underneath it. The flamingo pink, that must be beautiful. I did see it. Yes, I did. I'm just trying to remember exactly what the, the right you was. 
Kelly, you got a lot of stuff, but then you have a big family too. I, I they will. I don't think. I don't think they're gonna run out of meat. I mean, I think you'll get meat. Otherwise, just get beans. You guys make bean dishes. I know you do because you write about it. I thought, or maybe I don't remember. Who knows? I'm getting senile. Oh, look at how nice this is crackling. It's all crackling different ways when you pounce. I like that. And if I spray this stuff on it, then I can add more tones to it. I could add, I could highlight a little with the white wash. I know that's going to take out my brown and stuff, but I, you could also watercolor on this, give it a few different tones. I've got to show you all the things I have in mind for this, but... All right, I'm gonna. Just finish putting all the paint on here. I know they say don't go over it, but you know what? We're gonna go over it. A little bit here, a little bit there. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, take the time. It's already taken me 41 minutes or half an hour just to do that. And I think it's a little boring for you guys. My house, too many kids and grandkids running rampant. It's so loud. Have you I wait a minute? I'm waiting for one of the Finnebar's new moles at with the skeleton and the bat wings. I haven't seen that either. Oh, Kelly, you're fine then. You got you got tons of food. I have to. I haven't gone. <laughs> haven't seen anything. I've loaded up on some beans, dried beans too, and I have lentils. I have lots of lentils. I have red lentils, green lent, brown, green, whatever you call it, and black lentils. Like the black lentils, have to send away for them now. Okay. Alrighty. So. I'm just going to put a cover on that and I'll either come back to it or whatever, because I don't want, you know, it's a waste of viewing time to watch. You want to see what I'm going to do next. A lot of steps to this piece, but okay. So we have this and I know that this is lighter than that. But that's the reason why I'm going to put this on. Um, I'm not going to try to get it to be the same color because that's going to be impossible. But I can put, once I put this on, the crackles will stay. And if I put different washes on here, it'll still come through with the cracks. Or not. I don't know. We didn't get that far. We'll see. But let me put this on the side. Has anybody seen Benny? Benny said he would come in. I haven't seen him. I don't think I've seen him. Oh, Joanne, they're delicious. I get them from a place called, I think it's, you know what? I'm not sure. And I will check out Finnebar's new, wait a minute. Let me finish with the lentils because you know that I do this and I'm squirreling all around. Uh, I got black, I, I didn't know that there was such a thing as black lentils um, until I was looking up lentil recipes for a stew for Halloween because I wanted to make a, like a, a soup. A thick soup for a Halloween meal. And all of a sudden, I don't know how I found this out, but um, I saw that there was these black lentils. I said, well, it's Halloween and a nice stew with black lentils and um, carrots. Beautiful colors. So... I got them. Uh, I, I think they're very, they're more like the red lentils, the red lentils are really orange. And they just turn brownish when you cook them, but the black lentils stay black. So, and they also, I think it was either that or it just was in the mood because the stew was really good. But they have like maybe I think a little bit more of an, of an earthier flavor to them. And if you like lentils, you won't mind that. And I don't know if earthier is the right, well, I don't know what the right word is. They have a little bit of a different flavor to them. 
and then the green ones. I'm just going to take this paint and put it in the refrigerator. I, the refrigerator is over here too, the one from downstairs. So I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to mix up. Let's see, we don't need this, we don't need this. Where did I put it? Okay. Oh, I was talking about oh, Finnebar. Is it under Finnebar.com? Is that the website you would go to? To see it? made a mess of this now oh you all oh, you use the red lentils to make flatbread okay so you have the red lentils but in a stew they just sort of turn brown you got to give me that recipe i think i still have some red lentils um, I'm going to find a link to the black lentils and I will, because I couldn't find them. You don't get them in the store. I'll find the link. I think it's Vita cost. I'm not sure. I know that if I, I, if I look it up now, I'll look it up maybe at the end if somebody reminds me. Okay. So I'm going to do something that I saw on, um, Bentley house minis. Ara used joint wallboard joint compound and she mixed it with uh the white glue just the regular white glue elmer's white glue school glue and she uses she uses this a lot for like because she makes things out of cardboard let me go backwards she make she decided to make this whole house out of cardboard during covid because uh, she felt that people couldn't go out to get supplies, but people getting a lot of packages in. And that whole series was just wonderful. If you like make, if you're into making dollhouses, or if not, like I said, I'm not into making dollhouses, but you'll learn things from everything you watch, different techniques. And she uses this to, you know, cardboard. Sometimes if you cut it, it has that ripply edge. She puts this. Ah, she puts this on the edges of it, so it doesn't look like cardboard. And then she mixed this with um, white glue to make like a coating over the cardboard. And the reason why she added the white glue was so it would stay on better. So I just have a little bit of this matte gel. So I figured I would mix that together with my compound. Hopefully it's not, if it ruins it, it ruins. I mean, it looks okay mixing it together. This is, I don't know if this is going to work. But I figured, hey, the matte gel is glue too. It's a gluey type thing. Okay. Well, you're not crafting until your hands get dirty. Okay. All right. Now, I wanted the nest. This is just plain compound. Join compound. On this side. And it's stuck on here pretty good. It didn't flake off. But I wanted the nest to, uh, I want to see if this works. Like I said, I added these to it. I don't know if they're going to work either. But this was this is sort of fun. Hopefully I, I made enough. Because you just sort of plaster this on. So Finnebar, is just a Finnebar.com or is it under something else? Is it under Prima? Because I'd like to go and look at all this new stuff that everybody's getting out. Just so I could look at it, just so I know what's out there. Because I don't really, um, I'll watch Finnebar, if that's that's her name or if that's the name she goes by, when the hops are on. But I don't really, um, I, I'm not 
uh, subscribe to her YouTube channel. You got everybody excited about your flatbreads. Thank you, Telly. Like I said, that last big link underneath my video, uh, I, it's for a nest, but then I couldn't find, this is a four inch nest. I couldn't find one except with that wood underneath it. If you guys want to do something similar to this. Oh, I'm running out of stuff. Oh, goodness. That's not good. I want to see how those big things look. This is one of them messy things we're going to be doing today. I wanted to give like the idea of a nest. But not... Nothing like crafting yourself into a corner. I also... Um, I don't know what happened, and my Aileen's tacky glue that I bought, I it was so thick it wasn't coming out, and so I tried to put some water in it. Maybe that was a bad decision because now it it's so grainy and it's disgusting. So I've still been using it, but I have to like open up the top and either squish some out or Put, put my paintbrush in there to get some out. It really, oh, I'm hoping I'm on screen. I'm getting my hands all messed up, but that's okay. Did I bring those out? You know what? I didn't bring something over. Oh, I'm going to be getting up three. The three times, I'm going to be getting up four. Uh-oh. You see, no matter how hard I try at the beginning of the videos to get everything I need so I don't leave you, I still, no matter what, forget everything. And I was just going to forget something. So I was going to say, why don't you make bets on how many times I get up? That should be the new thing that we bet on. How many times did I get up because I forgot something? Yeah, I don't know. It seems to me like a lot of things have been happening. Uh, like the other, the heavy body gel is came in a really funky texture, but it's working. So I'm just using it anyway. I don't know if it froze. I really don't. Um, I got two crackle things and I only need one, so I was going to send one over to Barbara, uh, but I don't want to send it to her until it warms up because it's like it's going to get all messed up in the mail. Okay. I didn't send away for the aliens. I bought that at Michael's, but it was like one of the last ones there. So maybe it was like I told you, my Michael's is really looking. I don't know. Maybe the Hobby maybe it's going out of business. I don't know. Maybe the Hobby Lobby, that's a much bigger store, is uh taken over. But wow. 
Has anybody heard from Penny? I'm a little concerned about Penny too. Telly, have you heard from Penny? I know sometimes she's, you know, she's been posting. I really should reach out to her too. Am I on screen? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Telly, I just figured, you know what, sweetie? Um, I'm get it's dementia. It's old age. That's it. I'm just blaming everything on dementia. Old age. But I can't hear. My ears are going. It's dementia. Old age. Everything. Everything is dementia. Old age. So now I was thinking, you know, like I could needle felt a little check. I don't know. I have to figure it out. You've been making purchases from Joann's. Yeah, they sometimes they have really good stuff. I mean, not sometimes. Stuff that I could use. Joann, I, I do Joann's and I've been um, Amazon too. Heck. I know they charge you a little extra when you're a Prime member for everything. But when you think of... Um, the freight that another person charges you, it's all it's almost still, I think, a little cheaper. Sorry, I'm off screen. Sorry, guys. So I'm trying to make this look, I don't know, like metalish, not in a few days. Penny. Yeah, where is our penny? Tell me next time you say you talk to Nikki, tell her that we said hello and that we, we all pretty much, well, not we all pretty much, but that we miss her. I mean, I could say that in a chat, but it's so much nicer hearing it from real live people. So I think I like how this is looking. Well, it's looking the way I thought it would look. Let's put it that way. Now, I don't have to do the bottom because nobody's going to see it. I do have to do the inside, but I ran out of gel. And I think it's going to have to be more finger um, things in here. So I'm going to put that on the side. or Because right now, no matter what I touch, is getting... Oh, okay. Penny has posted some about some stuff. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, I heard that Hobby Lobby is getting rid of their 40% coupon. I heard that. Oh, I do have some more gel. We're not going to waste any of this. So now we're up to finger painting, guys. Or I should say ladies. And you know that I'm going to be fussing with this. You know I'm going to be fussing with this whole thing. Okay. Now my hands are a mess. But I got rid of all of that, I think, right? We don't want to... Okay, all righty. Haven't shopped in Hobby. I don't usually shop in Hobby Lobby. Um, very rarely do I go in there. It's been months since I've been in there. It was, um, again, during Halloween, I saw some uh, greenery that they had that I wanted to pick up. Because, again, I was watching another channel. This lady, it's called The Little Blue Fly. She does wonderful, de well, not wonderful. She decorates. I don't know where she gets the money. I seriously don't know where she is. She must be rich. Because she, uh, you should go just, just watch one of her 
um, fall videos, all the stuff she gets. She goes to, and she, you know, she buys from Marshall, not Marshall's, Home Goods, uh, Pottery Barn. I mean, this, some of the stuff that she picks, she gets is absolutely gorgeous, but it, it's expensive as all heck. And then she also buys, she also gets things from, um, what do you call it? Thrift stores and stuff like that. But holy moly. There was this butler's silver butler's tray from Pottery Barn. I think it was seven hundred bucks. I was like, "Holy shoot!" I think more people bought craft supplies at the height of COVID. That's true. That's true. I know Michaels doesn't have any more forty percent offs either. They have the 20% off um, made by you or craft by you or something like that, but they don't have the 40% off either. They figured we really need the supplies now so we can continue crafting. So now they're not going to give us any coupons. Creeps. Yeah, I used to, when I needed something that was very expensive, I always waited for Michaels to give me the 40% coupon. Okay, so now we got that that has to dry. Let's see how our crackling is going. Oh, our crackling is going very nicely all around this. Now, this looks yellower than it really is. It is not that yellow. It's more of a light brown tan than that. It has more of a pinker hue than what's showing over there. but. It does look yellow because the lights I realized above my head, they are the yellow fluorescents. Set, uh, finally set up and got new theme on new phone. Yes, I have. Oh, good. Martha, I knew you got a new, a new cell. Set a password. Okay. A password. Well, now, Martha, you can take pictures, and I hope you can take a picture of that star because that, like I said before, that was phenomenal, and I think I said that word right. Excellent. They still have sales in the store. Yes, they do, Shirley. Yeah, but they used to pull me in with the 40% off because if there was something that wasn't, you know, like an art supply that wasn't usually on sale, um, you know, one of those odd art supplies, I would use that 40% off to get that. <gasps> You're down to one bottle of fabric tack? Uh-oh. One bottle. That's not good, Joanne. That is like, that's emergency rationing. That's worse. That's almost as bad as toilet paper. I mean, you can always use a washcloth. Michael's does rewards. Yeah, I, you know, but I haven't gotten any. <laughs> I don't even know how to use that crazy reward program. Oh my goodness. Um, Fabric Tech, I, well, Amazon has Fabric Tech. Do you have Amazon Prime? They have Fabric Tech. But again, you see, I'm not, I have, I stocked up over the summer because I don't know these certain things shipping. I always use the, oh, okay, yeah, because it's expensive. It is expensive. That's why. Um, they check at the register. Okay, Shirley, because they're always asking me, you know, my phone number, this, and I'm not, I haven't gotten anything off yet, it seems like. See, I don't know if you can ship things. Like, I don't know if, how fabric tack works if you ship it in the cold. I remember that you guys had told me, or was it Ruby about the AGG or Martha? Somebody told me about this long, 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 long time ago that, um, AG, you, they don't ship AGG. I've been using the heck out of my rewards and curbsides. Benny, you're finally here. I was wondering what the heck, why you were so delayed. I even asked people to go look for you. You're late to the party. You didn't get to see anything because now I'm up to the end part that I was going to do tonight. I have to go wash my hands because this stuff is not fun, which will be my fifth time leaving. Okay, chat, whatever, get some more coffee because there's just one more part to this video because now I got to let everything dry. Okay, let me get the stuff. Where did the stuff go? Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, I don't think I'm going to need all of those. I think probably just that. Okay. Okay. I'm, gonna wash, I'm just going to wash my hands, everybody. That stuff doesn't want to come off. All right. Well, I wasn't going to spend another 20 minutes in there trying to get that stuff off. Okay. So I had made one and I lost it. <laughs> Typical. Okay. Sorry. I'm just trying to clean off my hands. This is um, these are little roses from Amazon, of all things. You get a ton of these little white roses. Now, they're not the best quality in the world, but for what I'm doing right now, they are just fine. And if anybody, this is a link I forgot. If anybody wants the link, I will definitely give it to you. Oh, there's Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Oh, I miss people. I was in the bathroom and I miss people. That's okay. I'll rewatch the video. Hey, Shannon. How you doing? See, they're not like the best quality, but again, like I said, for what I am using them for, they're going to be just fine. They roll on these little wires. I'm fine, Shannon. Hey, we finally saw snow. And I got to tell you, and I'll be quiet about this. Benny knows Megan. Megan asked me to stop cursing about the snow. You see, you know I told you about my snow anxiety. And so I would go to the window, you know, while it's snowing. And, of course, I'd have to comment, but it wasn't ever a nice comment about the state of the snow on the ground. Um, it was usually a crummy comment. Well, it was a curseful comment. So she had asked me to please stop cursing about the snow. So I've been trying to be positive, and it's not working. Guys, it's just not working. I'm so sorry, but it's not working. Okay. What I'm going to do with these little tiny roses that are falling apart is I am going to dip these in Mod Podge to stiffen them up. Then I'm going to be spraying them with um, tattered rose. And Victorian velvet. Um, sprays. Both Tim Holtz colors. And then I'm going to be gluing them all around here. All around this base right here. And the reason why I'm putting them in here is because I want them to be stiff. Yeah, I, hey, good luck, June. <laughs> yeah, 
you know what? I don't um I don't mind the winter, Shirley. I really don't mind cold temperatures. I mean, if it's you know negative twenty degrees, yeah. But I don't mind being the cold weather. I think it's like very nice. It's um. Oops, off camera. It's it's refreshing. I just don't like snow. And I don't like hot weather either. I'm I'm not a summer person. I don't I am not like I don't I do not like sweating and I sweat. So, you know. Okay. This is just my hands are just going to be a mess. So, usually, I was going to see this is you want to talk about forgetting things. I was going to set it up where I had the inside of a box. I was going to put a dowel in it and have these hanging off the dowel to dry. But uh, I forgot to do that before I went live. So I'm just going to hang them up by the spring that's holding my camera. I am not a hot person. I mean, a hot person. I am not. I don't like hot weather. And in New York, when it gets hot, it gets humid and muggy and yucky. I am not a beach person. I don't go to get. Let me try to get in frame here. So I don't know how many I'm going to need of these. That's okay. I'm going to start doing it here. And then I'm going to put it all together, but it's not going to be put all together tonight as usual because you got to wait for everything to dry. And I don't use hair dryers to dry my stuff. Let it dry naturally. Sweating? Yeah, I like I like anything better than snow, Mike. Yesterday, it was, it was amazing because every time I went to the window, it was snowing. It was like it's never going to stop. But I'd rather, I mean, if I had a sweat, uh, I guess so. Because then I could always just go into central air conditioning. Although when we lost the power for that three days over the summer, I wasn't sure about the heat. Why can't, Why isn't this going? Hot, humid, muggy, and icky. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into um, humidity. So you get such. There's just so many days that you get a year that absolutely gorgeous weather, and usually we have we're in school when they are. Because it's the spring and the fall when it's really pretty weather. And we are in school. Yeah. Okay. Why well, aren't why aren't the first couple of ones were fine? They just hung out. Now these aren't going. You know what? I'm just going to leave them here for a while. It's not going to hurt them. But. So nobody answered the Finnabar. Maybe I didn't see it. If I want to look up Finnabar stuff, I just look. Is it? What is her? Does she have a store? Is it Prima? I need a sip of coffee. Oh, okay. So, did I mention, did I talk about this before? I don't know if I said I'm going to needle felt either a chick or a little bunny to go in there. And, or 
I was thinking of uh, sculpting it out of polymer clay, but making it look like a metal thing, you know, sort of like, whoops, wait, he has some, uh, something like, you know, very, uh, not with a lot of texture and just have like a chick there, like my little mouse. I didn't sculpt this. I bought this from Amazon. Oh, mouse paperweight. It's iron. I don't know what, what I'm going to do. Or maybe I'll just leave it blank so that people can put their own stuff in there if they want to put um, Easter eggs or something like that. I don't know. You know, um, that's why I was thinking, Telly, that's why I was thinking about Portland, Oregon. Because it gets cold. First of all, you have the four seasons. It gets cold. But, like, if they get an inch or two of snow, that's a lot. I, I gotta look. I gotta look up that fact because that was a while ago, and I remembered that that I liked it. Um, they get a lot of rain, but that's okay. I'd rather have rain. And the summers, I don't think are too hot. The only problem I think with Portland is they might be on the San Andreas fault line. I'm not sure. I have to go. I have to do some more research. But ever since, like last this past summer. I wanted to go there, you know, but then we have the pandemic, so we couldn't go anywhere. But I wanted to go and see what it what it looked like. Oh, I should just smudge it. That gets some out of it. Okay, smudge. I'm gonna have Modge Podge. I'm gonna all over the place. So, oh, this one had a lot in there. Um. It's close to that line. It is, right, Mike? So if I move out there and you and Carlene come to visit me, <laughs> all of a sudden if we start shaking, know what the heck is going on. Because if I move out there, you guys are going to have to come visit me. Couple from Oregon, Oregon. They say it's Oregon, not Oregon. Just bought my aunt and oh, they're leaving. They were leaving. That one didn't get anything in there. We are just going to be messy today. Finger painting, pouncing. We're just going to be a mess today. I don't like you. You go over there. Mike, I don't know if you can see Chad. Benny's here. He said hi. I got a hair in the mix. How the heck did I get a hair? I'm not even near my hair. You need. You, uh, how does she like it, Mary? Benny, you got a lot of snow there? I mean, I know you're only in Connecticut, but sometimes a lot of people, from, lots of people are, are being of places. Oh. Well, I know I've heard a lot of people are moving out of California. But Texas and Arkansas is, is too hot. Her electric was off for several days. Ugh. Well, what'd you eat? What are you eating, Joanne? You know it's the food portion of the show. I have Vietnamese something up there. I forgot what I ordered. Lots of felt, yeah. I heard lots of people were leaving Cali.
You don't have icebergs? Look at the mess I am making. Can anybody just see the absolute mess I am making here? Ah, uh, wait. Who, that's what it is. Uh, sticking. Homemade veggie soup. Oh, gosh, that sounds so good. Soup is good for you. It's just for you. Oh, Ashley's here. Hi, Ashley. I'm glad we're all together, too. It's been a while, like I said. I've just not been motivated to do crafting. And anything I have been doing is not something that, not that this is interesting. <laughs> um, sort of fun. Uh, icky. Uh, not really been anything that I've wanted to to go on live with and then you know I didn't realize how tiring it is even though honestly I am I don't really do a whole heck of a lot in school especially now you know I just don't uh, um, for whatever reason there's lots of reasons but I, I don't do anything and I'm just so exhausted when I get home Oh, there's goopy stuff in my Mod Podge. So, Mary, what were you going to create? What were you thinking of doing? Rent is way high out there? Oh, okay. My cousin and his wife moved about. He loves it. Okay. Rent is way high out there. Well, I was thinking of getting, selling this house and, and either getting a condo or a townhouse. I, you know, I want some place where I am not in charge of everything. Heck, I'd even go into an apartment. I am so tired of things going wrong and that we have to fix it. I want to live. Shanna. Oh, rent was high in Vegas. Oh, who's going to Vegas? Somebody's going to Vegas? I can't really touch my thing right now because I have Mod Podge all over, so I can't scroll up. Well, somebody makes somebody vegetable soup. Look at that. <laughs> when you got everybody fighting over who's going to. Vegetable soup. All right. Oh, you lived in Vegas. I went to Vegas. <laughs> Wait, when did I go to Vegas? When my daughter went to Colorado, I went with her because she was on a work study program. I'm sticking because my sister lives out in California. So I, I asked her, because I was flying with my daughter, going and coming. Um, so while my daughter was out hanging out with the bears, I decided up in the Rocky Mountains that I would go see my sister. So for the first time in my life, she, she wanted me to see Vegas, and we went to Vegas. So I saw, um, where were we? I forgot which hotel we were in. But it was also her birthday. So um, her husband, William, uh, her husband, William, got us, like, he wanted us to go on the Lazy River Pool. That's all he kept on talking about was the Lazy River Pool. But Cora and I had never been in a Lazy River Pool. Um, so we were a little... Like, are we going to get wet? We were making, we were giving him such a hard time asking him questions about this pool that, like, you know, my sister and I. And uh, finally, when we both got in it, neither one of us wanted to get out. So we left William. He got like a cabana or something by the pool. <laughs> but we left William at the cabana. 
and my sister and I stayed in the pool, Pool William. I think he got to go around once on the Lazy River, but that was fun. Who's an American? She doesn't like soup. She's an American. So if anybody wants to get really messy, work with some compound, whatever you call it, and then dip roses in Mod Podge. You will get exceedingly messy. Ah, here we go. All right. Well, here's my last one that I'm going to do tonight because I have to go hang these all up so they drip right. Oh, in the Vegas, it was 107. Yeah, it was hot the time we went there, too. It was uh, in August. Ah. Okay, wait, wait. Go over here. It was in August. It was 107, yes. You hated it there. Joanne Camilla's son. I'm sorry, I'm missing some things. Joanne, everybody wants some of your soup except for Ashley, but she's un American. And I mean, I liked visiting it so I can say that I was in Vegas once in my life, but I, I don't have like this uh, desire to go back. Where I really enjoyed was San Francisco. I loved San Francisco. I think my son loves San Francisco. And the most favorite place I have ever been was Muir, M-U-I-R, Woods, the Redwood Forest. Now, I could live there. I could, uh, that I could live right in the middle of the forest, right in the middle. There was a stream going down and these big gigantic redwoods with ferns. Holy moly, I thought I was in paradise. I thought I was definitely in, for me anyway, I was just absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Well, I still you know, I usually go on for two hours. I started at six. Um, so you know what? I'm just going to finish pouncing. That's all I'm going to do, la ladies and some gents, is just finish pouncing this thing. If I can find my paintbrushes, just so I can say it's done, because there's nothing else that I could do besides hang these up and wait for everything to dry. And this thing to dry and then we can put it together so i'm going to finish pouncing and that'll be it okay i probably am going to need more roses um but we'll see Heck, I'll go with you. I'll get a tent. No, 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 no. No, we're not. Li no, we're going to have to buy a little cabin. June doesn't do tent. June needs running water and she needs a bathroom. That's two requirements. I'm at the end. We're not. <laughs> we need a restroom, an indoor restroom with an indoor bathtub shower. I don't care if you want me to cook over a campfire. That I'll do. That I will do. Uh, well, I need my coffee maker. Okay. So here's the ground rules. We need a bathroom, an indoor bathroom, and a coffee maker. And then, um, then we can do that. We have, we have our limits. Oh, nobody can see what I'm doing except the top. I'm just pouncing. I'm not doing anything exciting. That's why I like, I've been wanting to, you know, get into editing videos because some of this stuff is just the same thing. 
And it, when you edit a video, you can speed it. But I haven't quite grasped the video editing thing yet. You need an RV. I'll take it. Telly, RV, get Pete Nelson to build you a treehouse that you can actually live in. Is he the treehouse guy, Penny? I have Penny. Benny? Sorry, I have Penny on the mind. Is he the treehouse guy? I've never, I don't watch that either. I don't watch that much TV. Percolating? No, we're not. No, no, we're going to take my uh, ninja. I love my ninja coffee maker. My sister got it for me because she had one and I loved it at her house. So she bought me a present for some reason. I don't know what it was, but she just wanted to get me one. That's one of my most used appliances. You know, I mean, besides the, you know, refrigerator and the oven and stuff like that, personal appliance is my ninja coffee maker. That's true, Joanne. We can't chat. And you have orders for veggie soup now. I wish, you, I wish we could be, yeah. I would love to get some veggie, homemade veggie soup. So, but like, see, I'm the person. Some of them tree houses, I'm sure. I got to really go look at that show. Should have a commune. Is that what it's called? And everybody lives sort of together. I love homemade stuff, but I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Make, well, Megan makes some food. Megan is learning how to cook very well. So does Eddie. I shouldn't say just Megan. Eddie knows how to cook too. An RV. Telly, you couldn't fit all of your animals in the RV. Oh, you have a Pinterest page with tree homes. Yes. Well, that's what my daughter said, that she wanted to buy a house someplace and she was going to have build a tree house in the back and shove me in the tree house. And I said, okay, but when I get, when I'm really older, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to get me an elevator if you want me to climb this thing because I am not walking up a lot of steps to get into this tree house. Okay, but Telly, you can't be in Texas and not Arkansas either because that's hot down there too. You're going to have to come up with a place or you can buy it and then, uh, you know, I just ah, won't be a part of the commune, but I think I would love to be a part of the commune. Hey, Mike, I think Eddie went for the Tito's. I heard bottles shifting up there. I've been doing many. I've been doing too many light crafts. I got to get back to some gothic stuff. Pacific Northwest. I'm with you, Telly. Oh yeah, Uncle T. He never came over. Wow. That's a shame, Mike. Tell him I said hello. I think Eddie's got him. From the look of it, from which side of the bar he was on, I well, I call my dresser, I have a dresser that I took out the two bottom drawers, and so it just has two little top drawers, and on the bottom, um, I put a piece of wood, and I put all my liquor in there. He was on the, he was on the Uncle T side. And go to different beaches, that's nice, that's nice, Ashley, take an RV and go to different beaches. I think, oh, by the way, I don't know if I answered you. Benny, I think we got more snow than you. 
they got icebergs on the bottom of the driveway. Yeah, I hate driving too, Joanne. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Do you want to come in the RV with us? You can't drive it like the Jeep, though. <laughs> can't go over curbs. Have a whole bunch of crafty, crazy ladies in the back cooking vegetable soup. I think I think that's fun. Krista, if you're still watching us in bed, hi, hon. No. Benny, I don't think we can get you. I don't know about your mom in an RV. Maybe for like a couple of days, but I, I don't think, no. I don't think, no. No, I don't think so. Shannon, you don't like driving either. I'm sorry, I missed it. I, I missed it if you shared anything. Hold on. I'm trying to look on your chat. Yes, you agree? We're going to need a few. Oh, we can have like a, um, a caravan. A caravan. <laughs> Those things we're going to need a few RVs. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I think I, except for really getting in all the little crevices here, I think I got everything. Oh, yeah, the COVID rules. Shoot. We'll all get vaccinated. I know, don't, yeah, let's not talk about the COVID rules, Mike. There's a lot of COVID rules. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, couldn't even, we didn't even get to Wassel. Shoot, COVID rules. That's the one thing. That's the thing. You'll drive? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna get, I don't know how either <laughs> of these are going to take <laughs> curbs, but it'll be fun. Oh, gosh. And I'm smate. Oh, look, look, look at this paintbrush. See, this reminds me of Penny. She always talked about how she <laughs> always. Kept her paintbrushes nice and neat. Well, look at this. <laughs> I'll support the Lysol. I don't have Lysol yet. <laughs> Tell me. Then our arms would be so quick. My, we haven't got Lysol back up here. I got like this big container of Lysol because it was the first time I've seen it in like a year and I just had to buy it. And I think we use most of it on the laundry. Wait a minute. Where do I grab this? Uh, ah, there we go. Oh, hold on. We made a messy. All right. Uh, okay. That's all right if it comes off a little bit. Oh boy. We could each have a night that we cook. That'd be interesting because then we all don't have to cook every night. Look at this, we got this all planned. See, I don't mind cooking once or twice, but cooking all week long, that's boring. I don't, it's just like one more thing. You know, you come home after work, you got to take off your mask, you got to wash the bay mask, then you got to get off your clothes. COVID rules, yes. Take off your clothes, wash up, then you have to cook. Then if you still have any energy left, you, have, you can go to your crafting room. Oh. 
we can get we can get vaccinated sort of kind of maybe because no i really don't want covid rules i really really don't want covid rules Penny, if you ever watch this video, I hope you're enjoying my paintbrush. Who's wise? Yeah. Oh, June could cook one of her five course meals. <laughs> Oh gosh, are we doing Christmas? Okay, so then Telly's doing a, a cornbread, southern meal with cornbread. Okay. I have a few brushes. <laughs> I think I should send this to Penny. Because I remember her saying how she she treats her brushes so nice. She never gets the paint up to the, whatever you call this, the ferrule. Is that the ferrule? That she just gets the paint and the tips. And this, <laughs> these are my paint brushes. I have not learned. <laughs> that's good i want the black lentils with orange carrots there that was a really good do you like mushrooms joanne if you like mushrooms that was delicious cornbread dressing tonight there's um i don't know if uh, oops i'm off camera there's such a thing as called dried pochini mushrooms i get them from italy they're like gold. Um, you have to soak them, but they have this real earthy flavor to them. Oh, gosh, I love that. And you can smell them. So there's a little mushrooms. Oh, good. You love mushrooms? Excellent. And see, I know we're going to get cornbread dressing. What is cornbread dressing? But every, I know Mike doesn't like mushrooms. Benny loves mushrooms. So we have, who else is here? Where is Christine? Where did Christine go? I don't know what cornbread dressing is. I know what cornbread is, and I know dressing is like a gravy. Right? Okay. One of these nice things about this is because it's sort of like a little, doesn't have to be perfectly painted. So if I missed, I mean, you know, I'm going to fuss with it off camera. Well, maybe not today. I'm done. I have not seen it. Yeah. What happened to Christine? Oh, Shirley likes mushrooms. Oh, good. We're having stuffing made. Oh, okay. Now I know. Christmas pudding. Oh, Southern people call stuffing dressing. Christmas pudding would be great. We had Christmas pudding on ravioli night. Many might remember our Christmas pudding. That was a lot of fun. That was fun. Um, before COVID, we had I had some people come over, Mike and his wife, and um, Ben, Benny, and his brother, and his mom and dad, Teresa, and Ben, his father, and we made raviolis. And um, I had I don't even know I think I had turkey chili and some other um, a cheese platter because I know Teresa loves cheese. Benny's mom, Ben's mom, and we had. Christmas pudding, and we got a little bit of holly from my front yard. And um, 
we put a little stake of holly in the top of the, of the Christmas pudding and then we lit it on fire. That was really pretty. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Wasn't so sure I liked the Christmas pudding, but I really, not that one. I think I have to do another recipe. Okay, so Telly only has one dog, one cat, one squirrel. Okay. All right. But we, we're going to have different RVs. Because I know that if Barbara comes, she's going to want to take her doggy. And if all the doggies get along, that would be good. And one squirrel scratch. That would be a lot of fun. I don't know where Christine is. Christine, if you're here and not talking, that's fine. But if you come and watch this, hi, sweetie, missed you. Well, it's a little early. Let me flip. It's an amazing watchdog. Let me flip because I'm done, right? Camera mic. I'm going to lose chat first. Oh, no, I'm not because I'm not even going on YouTube chat. Oh, good. There we go. So we have a caravan. We also have food that we're going to have on the caravan. We have drivers. And we're going to the Pacific Northwest. I love it. I'm ready. I am so ready. Because I am planning on retiring very soon. I think one more year and then I'm done. Done, done, done. Done. So glad to be done. So we can go on the road. <laughs> I don't think Christine is. I don't think Christine is here. Drinks? Absolutely. You're not 21 yet. You're not 21 yet, Benny. I'm not. I'm not going to be the person that gets in trouble giving you drinks. You're not 21, right? No. When you're 21, I will definitely give you as many drinks as you want. Or we have to have a permission slip, slip from your mom. Yeah, I'm going to give Christine a little poop for not coming in. But. Okay, so recap. We have this sticky thing. You know what I would say that? We have, uh, now, oh, now we're going to play with the camera because you know how much I, I could figure this out. We have this thing. Um, we have the nest that's going to go in this thing. And I can't bring it up high enough. The nest is drying. Forget it. I'm not going to touch it again. I have my roses that are going to go around here. I'm going to spray this whole thing with this. this uh, I mean, I'm going to this camera with this super matte spray so that I could add more color to this, to the back. I could um, take my watercolors and put different tones in there, light tones. Um, I'm also going to be painting the nest with the same color white as the, you know, whatever this off-white color is. Uh, these are all going to get painted, or these roses, you can't see it too well, or now that they've all been uh, dipped in Mod Podge to make them stiff, I'm going to cut the stems off and glue them around here. And uh, I think it'll be a little, uh, really sort of little, ah, I just smacked my other camera. So that's about it. I almost made it to 8 o'clock. I can sit and chat, but I think that's it. There are some other things that I have done. My mannequin is almost, almost done, and it's coming out just, I, I'm really pleased with how it's coming out. I, I'll let you decide when I finally get it done. Um, yeah, it's going to look nice with the roses around and the rice paper. And then I was thinking that I might take some like little twigs of greenery. I have a die cut that I could do that with just leaves. And I also have some, uh, Venice trim when you cut it out that, that has like little leaves in there. So I might just put them coming out from the sides. Oh, oh you can't see where I'm pointing on camera coming out from the sides over here and stuff. I don't know. There's, I didn't, I was thinking maybe we could get, uh, I was thinking of first to make it a little sinister looking, but then I'm not doing Gothic. I'm doing this 
nice little, I don't know, happy thing here. But uh, let's see, that's about it. I was talking about my mannequin. That's That I'm going to be showing pretty soon once it's done um, because there's a lot. I'm probably not going to make a video of it because I'm showing it as done. But there's some things to talk about on that that I'd like to share. And I'm pretty much done for the for the evening. I'm still working on Antonio's snowman. So that's almost, we're getting there. There's not too much left. He said he wanted it to look like Sam. You know, I can't figure this stuff out. So I made him look a little bit more like Sam. And he wanted it on a base. So we have a base going here, but I'm going, and then I added some paper clay to the bottom. And then I have that, uh, that glitter stuff paste that I'm going to put around here, little sparkles over there. So Antonio is going to get that. And I think we're about done, ladies and gents. I'm so glad I haven't seen you guys. I haven't been live in a while, and I'm very happy that everybody came in. Um, it's been fun, and uh, I'm pretty much going to say good night. So thank you, everybody, for coming. We had really a lot of fun in the chat. Sorry it's a little short. It's nine minutes short, but that's okay. And now we have to think of a name for our RV caravans. And thank you, Barbara. So good night, everybody. Thanks for coming to the show. And as always, have fun creating beauty. Good night.